What's going on, guys? I am Andrew Flash Gordon, and I'm joined by my co-host, Imtiaz. Imtiaz, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. So we got a video here. It's called Fake Accent Stand-Up Comedy by <laughs> Niv Prakasam. Did I say that right? Niv Prakasam. Prakasam. Niv Prakasam. Maybe Thank- I said it wrong. Okay. <laughs> well, either way, one of us said it right. But uh, anyways, <laughs> if you could uh, hit the subscribe button to Niv Prakasam's channel. We'd appreciate it. She's the original creator of this video. And also, if you could hit uh, the subscribe button for us, bell icon on notifications, and hit the like button to let YouTube know that you are enjoying what you're watching, we would appreciate it. And let's get into this. I asked people what I should do f- to become famous in India as a stand up comedian, and they said, You have to write jokes in Hindi. So, I have in Hindi. You have to write jokes. Seems Thought like Hindi's not her <laughs> first language. <laughs> I speak English as my first language. Mm. Hate that about myself. <laughs> when I was growing up, me too. kids wanted to be friends with me. The rich kids would be friends with me, but only until they found out that I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and there are so many reasons for why Indians would speak English as their first language. Like you could have interstate parents who don't speak the same tongue, so you started speaking English at home, or you grew up abroad, or you're from Bandra West. It could be anything, <laughs> right? For me, it was because I grew up in Kenya, in Nairobi, Kenya. And uh, because of that, a lot of people have accused me of speaking with a fake accent. And it's true, I do have a fake accent. (laughs) Can't deny it, right? But when they say speak with your original accent, it's a little tricky because I think my original accent was a Kenyan accent. Because when my parents broke the news to us and said we're moving to India, I was like, why are we moving to India? There is nothing for us over there. Nice. point of my life is over here, and that's how I was talking when I moved to Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. Can you believe that? And I went to school on the first day, and all the kids were like, "Why are you talking like that?" Like, it's because I'm from Kenya. And they looked at me and went, oh, "This new kid is from Canada, it seems." Canada. <laughs> I was like, all right, I guess I'm from Canada now. <laughs> and I never corrected them, so I got known as a girl from Canada for the rest of my days in school. <laughs> and I went to school without any stationery, so I had to borrow it from my friends, right? I turned around and I asked my friend, I was like, do you have a ruler? My friend was very confused. She looked at me and said, listen, Canada, <laughs> India's a democracy. <laughs> so now I had to point at the pencil case and be like, I'm asking for a ruler. And she picked out one stationary item after the other. (laughs) And when she got to the ruler, I was like, yeah, that's the one. And then she looked at her friend and she went, she was asking for a scale? What a freak. (laughs) (laughs) And I didn't want to be a freak. You know, it's funny because this reminds me of uh, when I first came to the country. I didn't know the proper term for eraser. Back home, it was called rubber. Rubber. Okay. Here, rubber means something else altogether. Yes, yes, yes. So I turned around and I did ask, hey, can I borrow your rubber? They just looked at me weird. Oh, They're God. like, what are you talking about? I'm just curious, how old were you when this happened? 12, 13 when okay, I first came so here? That, I mean, yeah, that 12 or 13 year old right. would know what a, uh, in America I mean, would know what a rubber is. So, oh my right. God, I can only imagine <laughs> the 12 or 13. Huh? huh? <laughs> exactly. What? That's exactly. Like, what did I, I, I want a rubber. Okay. What's the problem? I need the rubber. And <laughs> they're like, uh, you mean an eraser? I'm like, sure. The only eraser I knew at that time was the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. <laughs> oh, right. The 1996 film directed yeah, by Chuck yeah. Russell, who also now directed I'm The you Mask. How old I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's an interesting story. I can't really think of like an instance where that. I'm sure it has happened to me, but right. that's that's an that's an interesting. But this story. was very relatable. <laughs> yeah, and that's an interesting story. Oh my god! But I just learned something new. Uh, rubber eraser in there. I like that ruler and skill yeah <laughs> you know i want to be friends with these kids and so i thought about how to do this you could ask me why don't you just start speaking in tamil we were forbidden from speaking in tamil in my school we got fined for it we had to what? speak in english so the closest i got to speaking in tamil was to pick up a tamil accent <laughs> at the end of the week 
I was talking like this. Hey girl, you're coming to play, huh? <laughs> what? Your mother is not allowing a gum, no? <laughs> <laughs> and then that's how I was talking and I made my friends, right? But I picked up a bad habit, this people-pleasing attitude of just speaking the way everybody else was speaking. Yeah, right? And I yeah. took this habit with me to high school. I met a bunch of British exchange students. Oh, no. I immediately felt the need to speak with a British accent. I don't even know how to do that. So they asked me about it. They were like, how did you learn to talk like that? <laughs> and I said, like what? <laughs> I am a really big fan of imitating anyone who follows my TikTok. I've only done a few scenes, but I can tell you guys I have like about 50 scenes in my arsenal. I love imitating. I just find like this is so relatable to me because there are so many times where like I would imitate someone and they're like, you sound like me? You sound like me? I'm like, no. Like, <laughs> but it would just subconsciously but happen. It, I just it I love take a lot of skills. Like I have oh, no, huge respects for comedians or people who can actually imitate someone's voice or yeah, the no. way you speak and stuff like that. I always wondered like if I'm ever on camera and people watches me long enough like how do I sound like I don't know how I yeah sound. no no there's certain there's certain ones I've tried I'm like right. I just can't get that and then there's other ones like Beetlejuice or Joker right in my like I've heard from people who've heard me say it say I'm good I don't know I let them be the judge it's because right. obviously we hear ourselves and maybe it sounds like it but then when you hear yourself the, the funniest thing is when you hear yourself like on a voice message you're like that's what I sound like yep yeah yep, so yep. but yeah no this is a this is really relatable for me well it's humiliating and it's saw me speaking with my Tamil accent to everybody else in my class. <laughs> and they were like, hey, that's how you talk? Like, you're a fraud. And I was like, uh, caught me red-handed. Uh, <laughs> and uh, one of the kids started making fun of my Tamil accent. So I was oh. pretty uh, offended by it. The other one was woke, so she defended me. And she said, hey, make fun of her. She probably knows five other languages you don't. No, I don't. <laughs> but I knew that this British girl does not know that. So I was like, yeah, speak five other languages, you racist. <laughs> and then she asked me to prove it. So I spoke Tamil five times. <laughs> and she believed me. That's smart. That's the problem uh, with like growing up abroad, you know, sometimes a lot of us speak with uh, fake accents and that's not our fault. You know, sometimes you have to go abroad to find a better living as an Indian. And I think Indians should cut us some slack. And when I say us, I mean me and Priyanka Chopra, because both, <laughs> both of us have the same problem. <laughs> you know who Priyanka Chopra uh, another is, right? Reason why I, speak. I don't think she, I do. She is uh, married to Nick Jonas. Uh, she was a former Miss uh, like World. The jo or, like the Jonas bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and um, she recently, and by recent, I mean in the last decade or so, kind of uh, shifted over to the U.S. Oh, okay. And before she moved in, she had a certain way of speaking and now she has an L.A. accent. Oh, uh, okay. She's been L.A.-fied. L.A.-fied. Or if you yep, would say, yep. I don't know, I just made that up. But yep. yeah, no, I, I think I have seen who she is now. Um, I'm sure everyone in the comments is like, how do you not know who she is or right. what you... But now that you say the Jonas brother, right. yeah, no, that... Yeah, makes yeah. sense. <laughs> Sorry we L.A. fight her, guys. In English is because my mom, when she was pregnant with me, she had only one wish, that I should be able to speak in English fluently. And I was like, wow, you could have wished for me to be rich. <laughs> I could have spoken the language of money. Amen. Uh, Amen. Let's go. Everywhere. <laughs> right? And um, this speaking in English has influenced my taste in music. I listen only to English music. And people call me a wannabe for it. And you know what? I am a wannabe. I want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I did listen to Hindi music back in the day. I remember when the song came out, Choli Ke Piche. You remember that song? I used to love that song. It was my oh, was jam dirty. growing up. I used to sing it all around the house. My mom heard me singing it. She said, stop singing that song. It's a dirty song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why? She answers the question though. Choli me dil hai mera. Behind the blouse is a heart. Right? Now it's a clean song. I should be able to sing it. But she forbid me from singing the song. However, at the same time, there was an English song that oh came God. out. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this song. Have you heard the song Sweat by a Bad uh. Dancer? <laughs> yeah. Once I'll sing the chorus for you, it goes, Girl, I want to make you sweat. Oh. Sweat till you can't sweat no more. Oh God. And if you cry out, I'm going to push it. Push it, push it some more. Yeah, that's not dirty at all. Oh no, no. That's clean. <laughs> So the mom was okay with that. Uh, 
because it was in English. English, yeah. <laughs> and my mom, she looked at me and she said, that's a very nice song. <laughs> Not graphic in any way. I feel like speaking in English has ruined my chances of making it big in stand-up in India, right? I asked people what I should do f to become famous in India as a stand-up comedian, and they said, you have to write jokes in Hindi. So I have written in Hindi. You will hear my jokes. That's good. And there is no option for you. Two minutes. So I'm going to shift to Mumbai and I'm going to learn Hindi. So I went to the shop one time and I went to the shop. So I asked the shop what is the price of the shop? They said that it's not the price of the shop, it's the price of the shop. Because the shop is female. So I saw the shop under the shop. And I asked, who do you know who is a female? And how do you sit on the seat of men? They should say, sorry madam, it's wrong. Forgive me. I'm going to have two people from Hindi. One is Ekta Kapoor. So when I talk about it, I talk about it very dramatically. So Ekta Kapoor, she is known as the Miss Hindi. Yeah, so Ekta Kapoor, she is known as the main person who's uh, responsible for Indian soap operas and oh. serial dramas and okay. stuff like that. Most of the shows kind of have like a similar type of way they shoot it, almost like the Spanish telenovelas. Yeah. And uh, it's very hyper and everything you say is like over dramatic and oh, dramatic. Yeah. yeah. She goes, she learned how to speak English, I mean, speak Hindi from Ekta Kapoor shows. So Yeah, no, that makes see. sense. I mean, it's, uh, I was I was just going to say really quick, here in the States, too, it feels like soap operas. They're all the same I mean, right. when you watch them, but I could totally relate to what you're saying. I was going and I was eating the That's a song. And the taxi driver took the wrong way. So I said, brother, you're wrong with me. They were shocked and they said, what did you say? They stopped the car and they stopped the car. Oh, no. And then they stopped the car and they stopped the car. The car was broken, we stopped the car. So this time I said with the sound effect. Didn't, didn't, didn't. Did you say that now you're going to die? दूसरे लोग जिनसे मैंने हिंदी सीखी है वो ही जो स्टैंडअप कॉमेडी करते हैं उनसे मैंने बहुत सारे गाने आ सीखी है जैसे माधुर चोद और बहन चोद और मुझे बहुत बुरा लगता है बाप और भाई Yeah we're not included उनको भी तो जरा चोद दीजिए आप Nice. I loved it. I love it. Yeah. Well, first of all, before we comment, definitely give her a subscribe. She yes. earned it. She's really funny. She's quick on her feet. She's got like different types of jokes and she doesn't have to think about it. I like comics who don't have to think. They can go right into it. For me, I thought my two favorite jokes were the, I had the look under the chair. Uh, the one with the song where it didn't care. Like the, the English one was way dirtier. Yeah. Way dirtier. But it was in English that so the mom didn't care. And then of course, because of your, uh, I mean, I thought it was funny already but the way you related with the rubber and the eraser and then and with the, the scale ruler, and yeah. the ruler. Oh, those are so funny. Um, and I love when too, when she changed up to speaking in Hindi too. That was brilliant. Her accent in Hindi was just hilarious. I loved her accent in the British one too, but they were all good. <laughs> Did you have any favorite jokes that you thought or I, all of them? I, I liked it. I like her skit a lot. I like comedy that comes from life experience. Oh, I yeah, mean, sure. life is the funniest thing ever <laughs> in yeah. general. I mean, yeah, you make a good point like we get a lot of our humor from real life i mean those that's the best type of humor real yeah. life experiences i mean just uh really quickly not to get away from this but like when i'm watching a movie i love a good joke for sure the writers who come up with humor or the actors on the spot mm -hmm. who come up with humor is the situation the characters are in Correct. in the moment <laughs> when you make humor of something of like that nature Correct. as opposed to okay we're gonna drop the 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 situation to just make a, a joke that has nothing to do with anything like okay the joke landed but it didn't 
fit with what was going on here. Right. It was just a joke to be a joke. That's why I'm in such agreement with you. Like, just getting into, like, movies or TV shows, I love when, you know, about real life experiences, when, like, a character is using the situation to create humor. I'm like, that's the best type yep. of humor for me, yep. personally. She's witty. Yep. She's yep. on her feet. But no, she's great. Definitely give her a subscribe. Um, and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and smash the like button so you yep. can let YouTube know that you are enjoying what you're watching. I'm Andrew Flash Gordon. This is MTS. See you guys next time.